Good evening everyone. My name is Edith Diaz and this is my third class to take toward my master's degree in English at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. First of all, I'd like to say that I am extremely excited to be a part of this coursework with Dr. Garza. I have looked at the syllabus and I have read some of the chapters in our two textbooks and I've found everything to be so extremely interesting. I think it's important for me to note from the very beginning that this is a topic that is so dear to my heart. I am only a second generation born in this country and having said that I think it's also important to note that my family lineage has been here prior to 1848 when we gained our independence from Mexico and prior to 1845 when Texas became part of the United States. And so we have a, a quote in our family where we say that, well, we didn't necessarily cross the border. The border just kind of crossed us, right? And we've been blessed ever since. My family is extremely proud to be living in what Daddy calls the greatest country of the world. And having said that, we have military family members who have served in the United States military in World War I, World War II, Vietnam, Korea. I said those backwards. I'm sorry about that. Korea. Vietnam, um, Desert Storm, and Afghanistan. And we're very proud to live in this country. As I think about our assignment, because when I read the syllabus, it's my understanding that the underpinnings of this course are going to be the analysis of an image that represents, in my mind, the U.S.-Mexican border. And so, having, having said that and thinking about that, I would like to say that I'm going to be looking at this from three different perspectives. The first one, as I just stated, is my family's um, respect for our country. The second one stems from a quote from Dr. Hector P. Garcia, who, by the way, was um, the doctor who delivered me many moons ago. In fact, my mother was his receptionist at his doctor's office. Um, just kind of a sidebar note. But Dr. Hector P. Garcia once stated that education is our freedom, and freedom is everyone's business. And so having said that, I think it's important to note that I have been an educator for over 20 years. I first started out as an English as a second language tutor for high school students. Then I went back and earned my degree to teach English language arts, which I did for 10 years, went back to school to become a school counselor. And currently that is my occupation. Uh, I am currently a school counselor and I love every minute of it. So the second perspective that I'm going to be looking at this image and, and analyzing this image from is that of um, an educator. The third perspective is one that's very personal to me, and that is I'm going to be analyzing this image with a very strong Catholic faith background. My religion is a huge part of my life, always has been. I was born and raised a Catholic. We can date back our ties to Catholicism back to the 1700s. We have baptismal records from 
are family members from the 1700s. And so, um, you know, I just come from a very strong Catholic family. So those are the three perspective, perspectives from which I will be examining and analyzing this image that I select. Regard for country, regard and respect for country, education, the importance of, and religion. Uh, more specifically from Catholic faith. And so having said that, I look at I've been looking at different images and I've been trying to to select one and I know that Dr. Garza said don't you know I wouldn't do it until I've read the chapters and you know right now I'm just kind of the wheels are turning. I'm just kind of thinking about stuff right now. So I haven't solidified my plan yet. But um, I think I just wanted to share with you that I'm probably going to be analyzing from those three perspectives. Um, I just I, I, I'm thinking back on on the syllabus and, and I can't I can't thank Dr. Garza enough for creating a syllabus that is so thought-provoking and one that I know I can tell that she put a lot of blood sweat and tears went into that syllabus it's not just something that she wrote off the cuff because it it clearly let me go back as a school counselor and with a, a psychology background I've always been a firm believer in expressive therapy, which is using artwork, all mediums, whether it be paintings, pictures, um, music, song, poem, to it's using that as a medium for people to be able to express what it is that they're feeling inside. The neat thing about this project is that we are going to be analyzing one image and that image is is going to be twofold we're going to be dancing back and forth to rhetorical expression and cognitive um, thoughts thinking we're going to be thinking about the image and then that's going to evoke this rhetorical response and that that's huge because being an introvert in the past my um, I've usually thought kept my thoughts to myself but I feel like this particular uh, course is going to help me to develop a process where I can use um, different strategies to to be able to uh, use that rhetorical expression and so um, I'm sorry to ramble on I'm just very excited about this class Dr. Garza thank you so much to my classmates I look forward to visiting with you, learning about you through videos, through your writings. Uh, I'm really excited to get to know everyone. I can't wait to get started. And um, if you have any questions of me or have any comments, feel free to to email me. Um, I'm always, always available. And so um, just please feel free to communicate with me. Um, if you agree, if you disagree, it doesn't matter. Communication is the key. I love to communicate with others. Um, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Um, I, I believe that you know dialogue is critical in the learning process. And so, uh, again, I thank you for taking time to watch this uh, video. I apologize for the ramblings. Um, I hope to hear from everyone soon. And y'all have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.